Hey guys, my name is Cindy, and I am an occupational therapist and the owner. My name is Taylor. <laughs> Welcome to our vlog! My name is Taylor. I'm the office director here at Carolina Therapy Connection. And my name is Cindy. I am an occupational therapist, and I'm the owner. On, I think it's like two and a half years, almost three. Yeah. And I have been here since the very beginning, since 2010, ah, when we first opened. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I always knew that I was going to be an occupational therapist since I was in about middle, well, was it middle school? I think it was. Middle school at the library. I think it was in high school because I feel like I drove to the library. And I found this really big book of jobs. It was one of these things where I knew I wanted to go into the healthcare field. I wanted to do PT and then I was like, oh, maybe there's something else. So I looked in this huge book of all these different careers and occupational therapy came up and I was like, yes, this is it. This is happening. And the this big is book me. of jobs. The big book of jobs. Ever since then, I knew I was going to be an OT, I wanted to work with kids, and I wanted to be a business owner. And so, yeah, that's what brought me here. So I always kind of have a, a need or a passion for just uh, pleasing people, making people happy, and I enjoy, uh, you know, the aspect of working with kids and, you know, uh, providing them with a service that will benefit their lives and not just their lives, but the family's lives. Um, so that's kind of, I've been in and out of working with, you know, different human services jobs, uh, since I've graduated college and before and uh, just found this job and it's been a really good fit for me and I've just enjoyed the families and uh, the people I work with and the kiddos. So. I have a great boss. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, no, I, no, for real though. I'm just, um, <laughs> no, but I enjoy, I enjoy all the people I work with. They're very, they're awesome. They're really good at what they do. Um, but they, we know how to have fun, we know how to enjoy each other, and, but we also know how to get work done. Um, but uh, there's different things that we want to do for the future and it's exciting to talk about that and pin, uh, bounce ideas off each other, uh, so that's really fun. I just love coming to work every single day. I think I've told you this a million times, is that there's never been a day that I've just dreaded coming to work or that I've not wanted to work. And the one thing that come, keeps me coming back is the kids that we serve, the families that we serve, but then again, our team, like you said, is amazing. I love our team right now. Our culture is so awesome. Um, I just, we have so much fun together and I just love being around everybody on our team. I love doing things here at the clinic, things outside of the clinic. Um, it just makes my heart happy. Is that, I tried out for American Idol one time in Orlando. That is the craziest yeah, thing yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah. heard. Yeah, it's kind of fun. cool. Okay, so tell us more about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I went to, like, I did the first round of auditions and then went to second and then that was it. I didn't make it past that sad face. So but, you need to do a little ditty for us. It's not on. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've told people this before, but not many people believe me, is that I am a very good bowler. That is true. That is I true. Am. She is a really I good bowler. I some butts in bowling. I, I always get over a hundred. I get one hundred thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Gladiator with Russell Crowe. It's awesome. Action, love, awesome. Good movie. My, I've never seen it before, but I have to add that to my list. My two favorite movies, which is going to be very lame, but I think very cliche: Pretty Woman and Dirty Dancing. Love them. Uh, caring for others and being there for the uh, people. Um, and just giving back and um, just supporting people I love and the people that are in my life um, and just just be that helping hand for people. I love and I feel like I'm passionate about um, seeing things, seeing that there's like a need and fulfilling that need, figuring out a way, problem solving a way to, to fulfill that need or to build things. Uh, I would like to be remembered as someone that really just um, kind of show, shines their light. Like, uh, you know, people, you know, when they talk about you or whatever, and you'd be like, oh, you know, you, that person really um, just showed a passion for what he believed in and was um, just um, personable and just really just uh, all around good guy and just someone that you can count on and loyal. And that's, yeah. Like, I want to just be that person who could share 
the love of Jesus with others is that the love that he has for us how can I show that to other people whether it's through just the relationships we have with one another or just loving on people or um, giving myself to them for whatever they need that's that's what I would ultimately love to be remembered for take full advantage of the time that you're given because mm -hmm. a lot of the times I feel like you know we, we're focused on this which is you know, crazy bad but if you are able or not able, but if you are in a circumstance where you're at home and you're with your kids, even though it's crazy, pandemonium, you're doing schoolwork, but also take that time to enjoy being with them because, you know, once you get back to normalcy, you know, everyone's kind of like full throttle, you know, take kids there to do this, do that. Um, and you don't really get time to really sit down and enjoy each other. So definitely do that. But my biggest advice would be to just chill out so with kids at home I know it is so hard to try and homeschool them and make sure that you're being a good mom and doing all these things and checking off all the boxes making sure there's outside time and not TV time but honestly at the end of the day you know turning on the TV because you need some sanity is totally fine yeah. like that is okay TV time is okay um, and just chilling out and maybe not doing all the assignments that are that you have to do for that day that is something I've had to like really just take a step back and being like, okay, we don't have to do this. <laughs> this spirit animal is a bear because, oh, God. <laughs> not because of the size of the bear, but um, <laughs> this is getting better. But I feel like you are super protective. I feel like if anybody tries to, you know, mess with the culture or somebody here, you're like super protective. You take care of people, you take care of all of us. So, that's what I would say. I think she would be like a wolf. She's a pack leader. <laughs> I mean, she really, uh, she really is a fantastic leader with uh, me and uh, the girls here and all the staff. I mean, she's awesome. One, two, three. I'm Taylor. I'm Cindy. Thanks thank for, you for watching, watching our Spotlight Staff Vlog. Staff Vlog. <laughs> <Staff -like blog. laughs> I'm Taylor. And I'm Cindy. Thank you for watching our Staff Spotlight vlog.